Clevelanders were killed. The train car still exists and many feel it is haunted. Mm -hmm. Leon Bibb takes us to that specific train and he found it in a railway preservation society located right in Cleveland, along with some other things, Leon Bibb. Oh, we will go aboard that ghost train and hear a strange tale that may send shivers along your spine. But we will also examine a lot more than that at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society located in the Cleveland Flats. In the shadow of the steel mill across the way is the old iron of workhorses, which no longer run quite so quickly. They are retired in the sun, which falls on the industrial spine of the Cuyahoga Valley. In an old railroad yard, workers lean into the work, muscling vintage train cars back on their wheels. At the Midwest Railway Preservation Society are dozens of train cars eager to run again. This is heavy lifting, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. This ain't easy. No, there's nothing light on a railroad car. In the Cleveland Flats, the railroad preservationists work the old stuff, including an aged passenger car from a years ago wreck, which many feel is haunted by ghosts of those who died. More on the ghost story later from this old Cleveland Railroad roundhouse, where decades ago trains lumbered in regularly. This roundhouse was built in 1906. But Cleveland had long been in the railroad business, even long before the 1860s. Cleveland was built on railroads. They brought people into this town, brought in products as well. Even long before the Terminal Tower and its underground Union Terminal Station, when trains would pull in there, they pulled in here. The society celebrates trains and works to preserve old ones. There are deep-pocketed buyers who want to own these old but usable train cars. That Amtrak over there once carried an American president from his home to Washington after winning the 76th election. It was uh, Jimmy Carter's uh, grand train that he was using for his inaugural trip to be uh, president. Now back to that ghost story. It centers on this car being refurbished. In 1943, on an upstate New York line, a lot of Clevelanders packed a Lackawanna passenger. At 80 miles an hour, it crashed into a locomotive accidentally pulled onto its track. Came to rest right next to the ripped open boiler of the switch the locomotive doing the switching. A fatal impact. Others died from scalding steam belched from the locomotive right into this car. When the train went off the tracks that day, 171 either died or were injured. 28 people in that car alone died. It was 1943 on the Lackawanna line. But our story continues today. Feeling is that car is haunted. Feeling is there are ghosts of the dead still riding the rails. Ever since, the death car getting new paint has had ghost sightings. Conducting a tour through the car, the guide, thinking he and the tourists were alone, was surprised by a question about the mystical man standing over his shoulder. And a woman raised her hand and says, when are you going to let the person in the funny old clothes talk? And Steve said, what do you mean? Everybody else was saying, yeah, there's a ghost in that car. And then when they all got out, the ghost was sitting on the roof with his feet hanging over. Professionals tell me there's no less than 17 spirits that occupy this car. You think they know I'm here? Oh, I'm sure they would if you were coming later tonight. <laughs> Painters giving the death car a new look speak eerily of unexplainable sounds pulsing from what they think is an empty car. They don't bother don't, you. They, they don't touch me or nothing. I'm all right. <laughs> Ghost story? You decide. Ghosts or not, the car is bound for a buyer. The Midwest Railway Preservation Society works to get all of its cars back on track even this nearly 100-year-old steam engine. What if you can't find the parts? We will make them. We will make them because we have a pattern shop here. Railroaders eyeing a steel path, bearing an iron footprint to the past. In my Ohio, Cleveland's Midwest Railway Preservation Society is trackside at the station, waiting for the next train to come in. Once the Railway Preservation Society gets the old cars back on their wheels again, it works to sell them. By the way, there is a buyer for the ghost car. On Live on 5, I'm Leon Bibb.